Hi there everybody, my name is Andrew Rice. I'm currently the Director of Instruction at the Western Savannah Harbour Resort and I'm so happy to join with Hero to help him out with some content for his book, Make a Swing That Suits You, Make a Swing That Suits Your Body. And uh, I just wanted to share some of my thoughts, my ideas, how I got into teaching. I'm currently a Golf Digest Top 50 coach in America, the number one coach in the state of Georgia, thankfully. I'm a golf dot com top 100 teacher uh, I started many many years ago working for David Ledbetter I think that was most probably in the mid 90s I worked for David for six years it was such a blessing such a privilege to be able to work for David and learn from him it was a tremendous starting point for me and uh, it just gave me a good start I, I was able to teach at a great location in South Carolina I was there for a long time now I teach in Georgia and I teach a lot of amateur golfers. I get to see really some very good amateur golfers, some people who are getting started and everybody else in between and it's quite interesting to see some of the trends and what they need to work towards. I would say this, um, I typically like to work things in this fashion. The quality of strike comes first. How they put this club face on the back of the ball is most important. If they can strike the ball properly, um, then we can start to work towards perhaps making them a little bit more accurate. We want to keep the ball in the corridor. Uh, if you can hit the ball well and you can hit the ball a long way, but you tend to lose five or six balls around, that's really not that productive. And so quality of strike comes first. Accuracy, keeping the ball in play is going to to be number two on my list speed once we've got once we can hit it well and they can keep it relatively straight then we're going to start to work on some speed and try to get some distance and then finally I'm going to work with them on how to practice and that's so so important I found over the years because Many golfers nowadays don't know how to practice. They think it's go to the range, dig it out the dirt, hit a bunch of golf balls, and that's not really what it's about. Um, there's so much great swing information out there, you know, getting the, getting the hands forward, getting that face squarely onto the back of the ball, that's gonna help you with your strike, that's gonna help you with your accuracy, but from there we need to learn how to, and I think we're starting to understand the value of speed, um, but from that, we've got to know how to plug it all into our game and that's why I think it's so important for players to learn how to practice. So my order of importance when it comes to teaching the amateur golfer would be quality of strike first, accuracy second, speed third and then how to excuse me, how to practice and get it all put together. Um, some of the trends that I see in the US at the moment when it comes to teaching uh, players, are, coaches, excuse me, are starting to use players as well, are starting to use more technology. I think technology is great for uh, us as coaches in that it helps us get to the problem that much sooner. And that's so important, certainly for our students. How can we help them on their way as briskly as possible? Very, very important. Um, another trend that we're starting to see is data. Using statistics, it's something that I talk to my students about when we're discussing how to practice. How do you start to know what to practice? You've got to keep statistics on your game, you've got to use data. And so really the big trends in golf instruction are technology. Technology is helping us to understand what the player is doing better, what the best players in the world do. Um, data is going to help us understand what are they doing to score such low scores, to shoot such low scores. And once a player understands, a regular 15 handicap golfer starts to understand that uh, they can use technology, they can use data to get a better understanding for their game and start to make better decisions, whether it comes to how they swing the club, how they're getting fitted, or the club selection action on the third hole of the next round of golf they play. All of this information I find to be tremendously important. Um, it's going to help you make a swing that suits your body if you've got good data, if you've got good coaching, good information. Hero, all the best. Thanks for having me as part of this project.